Good morning, children. I hope class eight children are watching this video, and I hope you must be keeping well. As we have been doing operations on algebraic expressions, and already we have seen addition, subtraction, and multiplication, and we have seen we have uh, seen examples as well as we have completed exercise. I hope all of you. Each and every question from each and every exercise you must have done. And again, those who have not done till now, it is my earnest request you go through properly the previous videos, previous exercises, and then only you watch this video. And when you are watching this video, be with your book and copy so that together you can complete your exercise. So let's see. Today we will see division of algebraic expression. And exercise 6c. Here we have rule: if x is a variable and m n are positive integers, such so that m is greater than n, then x to the power m divided by x to the power n is equal to x to the power m minus n. Here you see. We have suppose x to the power m divided by x to the power m, then it will be x to the power m minus n. Already you have learned in exponents. Here you see division of monomial by a monomial. Rule is what? Quotient of two monomials is equal to quotient of their numerical coefficients into Quotient of their variables. How it will be done? You see. Suppose it has been given a x square y cube, and you need to divide by minus two x y. So here you see a x square y cube divided by minus two x y. Constant term you see. Constant term you divide. Quotient of their numerical coefficient. So numerical coefficient. What you have? A and two over here. A and minus two. Just to divide that, so what you will get minus four. And now, question of their variables. Question of their variables when we are dividing. Here you have. Here you have x square, and divided by x you have. It means what? X to the power two minus one. It means x you have got. And here y cube by y you have. Y cube by y, it means y to the power three minus one. Here one you have y to the power three minus one. The same formula we have applied: x to the power m divided by x to the power n is equal to x to the power m minus n. This formula we have applied. Or even in that also a problem is there. So easy it is. Just you see, x square can be written as x into x and divided by x. This will be cancelled. What will get x? Here y is three times. Just you see, and here you have y. This will be cancelled. What will be left? Y square. So this will be y square. So in this way also you can do. But if in exponent uh, more means bigger number you will be having. Then in this way if you are doing that will not be possible or you will feel difficulty. So it is better formula is required to be applied. This formula is to power m divided by x to the power n is equal to x to the power m minus n. So first what we did, constant term we have divided, and then variables we have divided, and we have applied the same formula what I said now. Here second question is see, here you have minus fifteen x cube y z cube divided by Minus five x y z square. Here you see what things are required to be followed. First of all, you need to see these numbers are negative. So if two like numbers are getting divided, then your product will be positive, or your quotient will come in positive. Minus and minus will be cancelled. First thing, second thing is what constant term you see fifteen by five. Five three zero fifteen three you have got. Now x cube by x you have. So this will be x to the power three minus one. One you have. It means x square you will get. 
here y and y will get cancelled z cube and z square you have it means z to the power 3 minus 2 it means 1 so simply we will get z so you will get 3x square z did you see 3x square z so in this way you need to do it then you have division of a polynomial by a monomial for dividing a polynomial by a monomial divide each term of the polynomial by the monomial so here you see if suppose it has been given your example is 6 x to the power 5 plus 18 x to the power 4 minus 3 x square and that is required to be divided by 3 x square then what we will do so for dividing a polynomial by a monomial, divide each term of the polynomial by the monomial. Each term is required to be divided. So here you see, but one thing you need to remember, these should be terms. These should be separated by plus or minus, not by anything. Otherwise, that will become one term. If multiplication will be there, that will become one term. That you need to know. So, three terms you have, one, two, three, and that is required to be divided by three x square. So the same thing you do, separately you write down first, so it will be easier, 3x square plus 18x to the power 4 by 3x square minus 3x square by 3. Now here you see, how will it divide? Constant term, 3 to the 6, x square and x5 you have, it means, x to the power 5 you have, it means, x to the power 5 minus 2. So what you will get? x to the power 3. This has been divided. Plus, here you see, 3, 6 is a 18. x to the power 4, x square. It means 4 minus 2 you will have. So, you will get x square. Minus 3 and 3 will get cancelled. And simply, x square will be left. So, here you have 2, a, here you had 3x square here, 3x square should be. So this will be cancelled and you will get 1 only. Here you will get 1. So what you have got? 2x cube plus 6x square minus 1. Here you see 2x cube plus 6x square minus 1. Then in the same way this is required to be done, just you try by yourself. You need to do by yourself and if it is needed then only you take care from here. Next we have division of a polynomial by a polynomial. We may proceed according to the states given below. What states are required to be followed you see. Arrange the terms of the dividend and division in descending order of their degrees. First of all we need to arrange that any expression has been given that is required to be arranged in descending order of their degree, first stage. Second is what? Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to obtain the first term of the question. Multiply all the terms of the divisor by the first term of the question and subtract the result from the dividend. Then consider the remainder, if any, as a new dividend and proceed as before. And repeat this process till we obtain a remainder which is either 0 or a polynomial of degree less than that of the divisor. So, how we proceed you see. Suppose it has been given 2x square plus 3x plus 1. What is required to be done? First of all, this expression is required to be written in such a way that degree should be in Descending order. So already this is in descending order. Here you see x square, x to the power 1, x to the power 0. Nothing is there, it means x to the power 0. So if it would be given, suppose your uh, dividend has been given in this way 3x plus 1 plus 2x square. So this was required to be arranged in this order. First we will write the degree which is high the term which is having higher degree then lesser and then lesser and this way it means in descending order we need to arrange first step second step is what 
we need to divide by divisor. So your divisor here you have x plus y. How we will divide this? We will see the first term first. In dividend, what we have? Two x square. So this divided you see x plus one. So what we will multiply with x plus one so that two x square we will get. That we need to know. So what is required to be multiplied? Just you see. 2 if by 2 you are multiplying we will get 2x and when you are multiplying with 2x you will get 2x square just you see 2x square plus 2x into 1 it will be 2x this we will get so this you need to write out here you write 2x and then here you will get 2x into x 2x square and 2x into 1 you will get 2x now as in division, what we do, we uh, subtract this. So, for subtraction, for uh, already you have seen, for uh, algebraic expression, what we do, sign is required to be changed. So, we need to change sign. Now, you for the old sign, now new sign, what we have given, that will be in operation. Here you see 2x square and minus 2x square. This will be cancelled. What will be left? Uh, minus 2x and plus 3x you have means x and here you have next term is required to be uh, written here here you see this will become x plus 1 now here you see again we will proceed in this way so this has become dividend now and this is your divisor so both are equal x plus 1 and x plus 1 so when you are dividing this what you will get one time only that will go. So x plus 1 into 1 will be x plus 1. And then you subtract, your remainder will be 0. So your question is 2x plus 1. And now if you want to check your answer is correct or not, what is required to be done? Just you multiply this. x plus 1 into 2x plus 1. Multiplication already you have seen. So I think you will be able to do. Just you multiply, you will get the dividend. <coughs> Next you see, divide 9x minus 6x square plus x cube minus 2 by x minus 2. Same thing has been done. Just you go through. As I have explained here, in the same way this has been done. x minus 2 you have. So first term you see, x cube. So you need to know x minus 2 is your divisor. So what we will write over here so that we will get x cube. So you need to write x square. Just you multiply x square into x, x cube minus 2x square. So this is required to be written. x cube minus 2x square. Then you subtract this. Then this you have got. Again you need to see minus 4x square. How you will get? What number is required to be multiplied with x minus 2 so that you will get minus 4x square. Minus 4x has been written. My, with minus 4x you multiply this, you will get minus 4x square plus 8. Then again you subtract, this became dividend now. Now one time it will go and you will get 0. Next, the same thing is there. Just you go through and try to do these all. This question we will take. Question number 8, suppose you take. And try to understand each and every question is not possible to be done. And it should not be done also. Till you are not practicing yourself, you will not be able to solve questions. So first you see, this number is required to be divided. Find the quotient and remainder when this is divided by this number. So what is required to be done? First of all, you need to arrange this uh, expression. 5x cube minus 13x square plus 15x plus 7 we will write. And this is required to be divided. By x square minus 3x and plus 4. You divide this. 
we need to get 5x cube and here you have x square. What is needed to be multiplied? 5, 5x square will be done. x if you are writing 5x into x square will be 5x cube. 5x into minus 3x, 5 3 is 15. 15 x into x, x square. This you have got. 5x into 4 means 20x. Now this is required to be subtracted. To subtract x. This. this I can cancel. What is left? 2x square. Then here is the 15x and minus 20x minus 5x we will have. And like term you must know. The number, the expressions or these terms must be written in proper way. So this minus 5x and then you have plus 7. Now this became divided. Now you have 2x square. Here you have x square. It means this is required to be multiplied with 2. 2 into x square will become 2x square. 2 into minus 3x minus 6x. 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Now you subtract this. So this will be cancelled. You will get x plus x minus it is see minus 8 and plus 7 x minus 1. So your remainder is x minus 1 and your question is your question is 5x plus 2. Now whatever remainder you are getting that must be in lesser degree of divided. In divided you have x square, here you have x to the power 1. So this must be lesser degree of power, uh, lesser degree. Otherwise, again you need to proceed. Here you see, so this question you have completed. This question you try to do and then you have exercise 6c. So again the same thing is there, few question only you will take. This type of question you try to do by yourself. Suppose we are taking question number 3. <coughs> How we solve? We have minus 72 x square y square z divided by minus 12 x y z what was told first of all we need to see signs if like signs are there your quotient will be positive so this will be cancelled and you will get positive then constant term you see 72 by 12 so this will become 6 12, 6, 10, 72. x square divided by x will be x. y square divided by y will be y. And z and z will be cancelled. And this will be your answer. So this, in this way, this is required to be done. Then you see, these all the questions are so easy, you need to do by yourself. Then, here also in question number 2, one question we will take. Here we have 9x square y minus 6xy plus 12xy square and divided by minus 3xy. What is needed to be done? This is polynomial, this is monomial. So, each term of polynomial is required to be divided by this monomial. So, we will write in this way 9x square y divided by minus 3xy minus 6xy divided by minus 3xy. Or you can write plus here you have to write minus in this, this in this way also you can write plus 
12xy square divided by minus 3xy. Now here you see, here you have plus, here you have minus, means unlike sign is there, so your quotient will be in minus or negative. 9 by 3 will become 3, x square by x will become x, y and y will be cancelled. Then here you see like terms are there, so it will become positive. 3 to j, 6, x y, x y will be cancelled. And then you have minus and plus, unlike sign is there, so minus it will be. 3 4 j, 12 x and x will get cancelled, y square by y will be y and this will be your answer. So remaining questions you need to do in the same way. Next we have, write the question and remainder when we divide these numbers, you see. So again here also three questions we will take. Suppose if you take this question, if you have x square plus 12x plus 35, this is required to be divided by x plus 7. Now you see, what I say, you have divided x plus 7 and dividend you have x square plus 12x plus 35. First term is required to be same. First term we have x square. Now we need to see what number will be multiplied with x plus 7 so that first term we will get x square. So x plus 7 you have. What number is required to be multiplied? x. So that x into x, x square, x into 7, 7x. So you have got x square plus 7x, this you see x into x, x square plus 7x and we need to write similar terms together. We cannot write 7x with 35 and cannot be added or subtracted. So similar terms you, you need to find out and then you need to write. Now it is required to be subtracted. This has been cancelled. Here you have 5x <coughs> and plus 35. Now, you see what is required to be multiplied with x plus 7, so that first term we will get 5x. So, 5 is required, 5 into x, 5x, plus 5, 7, 35. Did you write, plus 5, 5x, plus 35. Sign is required to be changed, so this will be cancelled, you will get remainder 0. So, your you write quotient is equal to x plus 5 and remainder is equal to 0 and this is your answer. In this way this is needed to be done. Then we will see Question number 8 you take. Here we have 6x square minus 31x plus 47. This is required to be divided by 2x minus 5. Again the same uh, rule and the same process is required to be applied. 2x minus 5 you first term you see 6, 6x six square. 6x square, how will you get? What number is required to be multiplied with 2x minus 5? Yes, you see. 2x minus 5 you have and you need to get 6x square first term. So it is needed to be multiplied with 3x. 3x into 2x, 3 to the 6, x into x, x square and minus 15x. So, here you write 3x and this will become 6x square minus 15x. 
this is needed to be changed. So this will become minus and this will become plus. This will be cancelled and this will just you see plus 15 x minus 31 x means minus 16 x plus 47. Now you have 2 x minus 5. You need to multiply by what number so that you will get minus 16. This you see what number is required to be multiplied so that you will get minus 16. So you need to multiply this with minus 8. Minus 8 into 2. 8 to the 16 minus into plus minus and x. And minus into minus plus 8 5 the 14. So here you will have minus 8 and here you will get minus 16 x plus 14. And this will become plus. This is minus. This has been cancelled. And what you have got? 7. So your question is 3x minus 8 and your remainder is equal to 7 and this is your answer. In this way this is needed to be done. Then we will see Suppose if you take question number 13, we have 5x cube minus 12x square plus 12x plus 13. This is required to be divided by x square minus 3x and plus 4. Now again the same process is required to be applied. Here you have x square. You need to get x cube, 5x cube. So 5 constant term will be 5 and x. So that you will get 5x into x square, 5x cube. Now 5x into minus 3x. 5 3 is 15. And x into x, x square. 5x into 4 means 20x. Now, this is required to be subtracted. Sign will change minus, plus, and minus. This has been cancelled. Minus 12x square and plus 15x square means 3x square. And minus 20 and plus 12 means minus 8x and plus 13. Now again, same rule is required to be applied. You need to get 3x square. You have x square. It means plus 3 you will get. So 3x square, 3 into x square, 3, 3 is 9. So minus 9x, 3, 4 is 12. Now you see. This will be cancelled, you will get x and here you will, get, you will get 1. So your question is 5x plus 3 and your remainder is x plus 1 and this is your answer. Now I think you will be able to solve each and every question, these are easy. In the same way you need to do, these all the questions you will be able to solve, if you have understood. And if you have not understood, again, many times till you don't understand, watch video properly and try to solve each and every question by yourself. As much practice you will do, so confident you will become to solve questions. So we will see next day some special products and till then thank you